I'm David Lombardo, and every day here at eBase, we're going to be looking at a new aircraft in development. We'll be looking at the uh, Citation Columbus, the Gulfstream 650, and today we're going to be looking at Bombardier's new Learjet 85. I'm here with David Khalil, the Vice President and General Manager of the Learjet program from Bombardier. David, where does the uh, 85 fit in the lineup? Well, if you look at our product lineup between the 40, the 45, and the 60, the Learjet 85 is about 42% larger than the Lear 60. And so it's a nice fit up between uh, the Lear 60 and then our Challenger 605 product. So it's a perfect extension of the Learjet family and a nice transition into the uh, larger Bombardier product lineup. Now this is going to be an all composite aircraft. So how did we uh, get into the relationship with Grob? Well, from the standpoint of technology, uh, this is an all composite airframe part 25 certification and it's the, the first in its class to be this size of aircraft that's all composite. So the fuselage, the empennage, and the wing are all composite. Um, our relationship as Grobe has been a long-standing relationship. Uh, they have been in this industry for almost 37 years and uh, as we looked at the different composite technologies and fabrication, uh, we kind of focused in on this application being the right for this product. And Grobe having that expertise, it was a great fit from a strategic partner to work with us on both the design and development of composite structures for this airframe. It's going to be powered by the Pratt & Whitney 307B. Can you tell us a little bit about the, uh, the projected performance? Well, the thing that's great about the Lear 85 is it's going to be the largest, fastest, longest range Learjet ever produced. And obviously having Pratt & Whitney propelling this aircraft is great. They're a great partner with us. They're currently on the 60 already. And uh, it's going to be a wonderful product from the standpoint of both range, 3,000 nautical miles, and uh, high-speed cruise at 0.82. What's new inside? Uh, let's start with the cockpit. Anything new there? Sure. Both the cockpit and the interior, uh, we really worked closely with our customer base from the standpoint of understanding what they wanted to see from both an, uh, an interior styling from the, the cabin itself and the avionics. Avionics is going to be the Rockwell Collins Proline 21, and it's a derivative of, of the Global Vision flight deck in our Global Series aircraft. So synthetic vision, uh, paperless cockpit, all the things you'd expect uh, in a modern aircraft. And what about in back for the passengers? Uh, the back is going to be wonderful. From the standpoint of a lot of our feedback from our customers, uh, more legroom in between seats. It's going to be the largest cabin of a Learjet ever produced and stand-up capability within the cabin. So it's very exciting for our customers. So you've announced uh, you have an order from ExecuJet for six aircraft. Mm -hmm. how, are, how are the orders going? What's the book look like? What are the delivery dates? You know, for not having like a formal announcement at NBAA until now, we've had over 120 LOIs, uh, letter of intents. And right now we're going back and talking to those customers. We have more information on the product, so converting those customers to purchase agreements. So the, the response has been overwhelming from the standpoint of both the Learjet brand and obviously from the, the Bombardier product lineup. Uh, customers are very excited about this product, so uh, the, the response has been tremendous. When will it be flying? When will it be available for delivery? Uh, entry into service will be uh, 2012 uh, for you know FlexJet, and then with our uh, deliveries to customers in uh, 2013. Great. Thank you very much. Thank I you. appreciate it. Yeah. For AIN TV, I'm David Lombardo.